What is up everyone? Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. And in today's video, we are doing a hotel tour of All Star Music. All Star Music was my first Disney hotel experience where I actually stayed in the property. So I'm excited to show you this hotel and what comes with staying on Disney property at one of their hotels. All right, so we have made it to the front of the hotel. This is where you can see the big sign that says All Star Music and all the stars. And right over here, located in front of the building, is the check-in parking. This is where you would go on your first day because you don't know where your building's gonna be. So you just park here and you can go inside and check in. However, if you decide you don't wanna check in inside, you can check in on the mobile app like I did and I did not have a hotel room key. I just used the My Disney Experience app to check in. So coming down over here first, we're gonna come towards the big sign. This is where bus transportation is. It can take you to all four theme parks and Disney Springs. I believe there even is one for uh, Typhoon Lagoon and Blizzard Beach. So you have transportation to anywhere you need to go if you're visiting Walt Disney World. Coming in behind the word music, you do have the lockers. If you decide to put your stuff in a locker that you do not want to take it to the park, you can do them here or you can leave them in your room. But this is an additional storage for people. They also have pictures if you don't feel like waiting in the line, you can wait right here. But there are lines and sometimes they do get crowded, so I recommend waiting over there. And they have these monitors that tell you uh, what times the buses are coming, when's the next bus. For example, Disney Springs next bus is at 9.31. Animal Kingdom's at 9.21. So coming back over here, we are greeted with one entrance, but we're not gonna go that way. We're actually gonna head over here and take a left to show you the main entrance to the main lobby. And here's a Mirrors Connect bus. This is one of the buses that take you from the airport to your hotels. All right, here's the main entrance to the hotel. This is luggage services. And you are greeted with a red carpet while you enter the building. Once you are here, you are walking over this all-star mat. And here is the main lobby. They have chairs, a lot of reception desks, and an area for kids to sit and watch some cartoons. As you come around here, they have this sign that does display like the times of the parks being open, any information about the hotel, like featured dining, shops, pools that you might have questions about. But any questions that aren't here, you can always ask the concierge and they'd be able to assist. They even tell you some stuff about the theme parks like early park admission, which is included in this hotel. Uh, early park admission is included in all Disney World hotels, but extended hours is only in deluxe. They also have recreation offerings like the arcade, campfires, movie under the stars. For example, last night they were playing Star Wars. They even have the park hours uh, from Magic Kingdom, Epcot, Disney's Hollywood Studios. Basically all the parks that are currently open. Blizzard Beach is currently closed. As you take a left over here, you are greeted by the gift shop. But before we go inside the gift shop, you have all these pictures of all the music legends. Um, like I said, this is all star music. So obviously they're going to have pictures of famous musicians, for example, Michael Jackson, Elvis Presley, even newer ones like Taylor Swift. I know she's not new, but compared to the other two, she is very new. Then you have this section right here called the uh, All-Star All Music Hall of Fame, and this is for um, Queen, it looks like. Yeah, this has a bunch of Queen stuff here, and some stuff like When You Wish Upon a Star, like some music notes and some instruments. So the gift shop here is called Maestro Mickey's and you walk in and you have a bunch of merchandise all themed to Disney of course. For example, you got Mickey ears so even if you can't find Mickey ears in the park you can get them here at your hotel. They even have pins and stuff like pins that are currently being sold in the park like the 100 year anniversary pins and they're even still selling the 50th anniversary pins. They even have a whole cup section of mugs and cups like really nice cups actually. By the way, this store does offer annual pass discounts and I believe uh, DVC discounts as well. It also offers necessity stuff like medicine, diapers, snacks that if you don't want to buy in the park, you can purchase them here. Even stuff like chips, cheese, um, teas, candy. So just a bunch of stuff that you might not want to buy in the park so you just need for your hotel room, you can get them here. This even includes stuff like milk, water, stuff like Lunchables. And for the adults, they do have alcohol that you can purchase here. Whole wine wall and wine refrigerator, beer refrigerator. They even sell bagels and bread. You can even purchase some Joffrey's coffee. 
Gorge Joffrey's is like Disney's partner coffee company. And of course, they sell clothes here. I mean, Disney clothes are probably the most popular merchandise sold. And they even sell spirit jerseys and hoodies and stuff like that. So, you know, in Florida, it's not really ever cold, but you can take home Disney World with you when, if you live like in the colder states. So that's pretty cool. So coming out of the lobby, we're going to head down over here to the outside. Before that, we have two places to stop. Actually, scratch that three places. We have another All-Star Hall of Fame. I just realized these are digital screens. I believe they do change. Right now, it's on Selena Gomez. So as you make your way, before you head out, there on the right, you have an arcade. This arcade has come with a bunch of games that you can find, like, you know, Dave and Buster's and stuff. Uh, stuff like race car games, ski ball, a bunch of race car games, actually. They even have Star Wars. Obviously, Disney owns Star Wars, so they're going to have that here. They have basketball. They have Subway Surfers. That's a first for me. Yeah, but they have Subway Surfers here. I always expect someone to be talking right over it. They have Baseball Pro. It's called Step Ninja, but it's basically Dance Dance Revolution. They got Fruit Ninja, Super Monkey Ball. I played this game as a kid. Oh my god. More racing stuff. Some classic games like Space Invader, Pac Man. And to be honest, this is probably the biggest hotel arcade I've ever seen. It's actually really cool. Also, more retro games like Pinball, Tron, obviously, themed, Star Wars, and Guardians of the Galaxy. And they have Air Hockey classic for the adults they don't want to play games they have massage chairs and a marvel photo booth i did one of these before it's actually kind of cool and this arcade is called note of all games did it music note across from the arcade you do have the main food court here it's called intermission food courts they have a bunch of stuff that you can get at the theme parks like in terms of food this is kind of like a quick service food place uh, but you come in here they have a place where you check out and then you can order the food from uh, these like couple stands right now they are serving breakfast and they do have stuff like muffins even some desserts already being served a muffin cinnamon rolls bagels croissants cookies here's a look at some of the menu for breakfast this place is called the market they even sell some cups i'm pretty sure these are refillable yeah enjoy free refills on fountain coffee tea at any self is any resort self-service so you can get this and I guess just get uh, free refills during the length of your stay. They even have a grab and go section here full of breakfast stuff like pop tarts, popcorn, um, cookies again, some, uh, protein bars, some healthy bars, some cereal. They even have grab and go water, smart water and Dasani, the only two waters that Disney sells. More grab and go bottle drinks. Um, they even have energy drinks, again, uh, some protein milk, actual milk, orange juice, apple juice. They also have alcohol, according to the note, that alcohol will not be sold before, uh, before 11 a.m. on Sunday. I don't know who's drinking that early, but that's just a note for you guys. They have some grab and go salads, obviously like some dressings on there, parfaits, they even have some cuties if you want those. For the kids, they have small sandwiches, animal yogurt, apple juice, water, chocolate milk, and milk. Here's more of the more intricate breakfast on the side. They have, I guess they all sell the same thing, I'm not really sure. But it looks like they kind of have more like pancakes and waffles over here. And connected to the intermission food court is the Singing Spirits. This is their bar. It has two sides, this side and the side on the outside near the pool. Coming over here, they do have the pizza pickup area. This is also where you pick up your mobile orders. Um, this is where I've been uh, picking up my food all the time. Then on the side, they have all the seating areas. Uh, this is where everyone can sit and enjoy their food. So a lot of these booths have some like Disney artwork above it. That's actually really nice. And in the corner right here, they do have some Disney animation cartoons playing for the children. And places like this is where you, you put your trash and you leave your trays on top. And over here, I forgot to mention, this is the uh, beverage place. They even have a mug washing station where uh, for the little mugs you can wash them out if you want to get something new in them. And here are all the Coke uh, like dispensers. And they have coffee here. They even offer stuff like toasters if you get a bagel and you want to toast it. And a microwave if you need a microwave for like food that you probably brought from home. And utensils, of course. And just like the main lobby, they do have some more of these like screens giving you information on what's being sold here, how you can place a mobile order, uh, specialty stuff that's happening. 
And I saw like, I I'm not sure they do this during breakfast, but I saw that they do have like frozen rum and coke. That's probably for like dinner. And here's some more artwork. And as you leave, you are greeted with a you sign. As you head out, you are uh, greeted with these machines. You can get some of the collectible coins or stamped pennies. And they also offer these like funny drawings. I think a uh, lady comes or a man comes here, sets up a table and you sit there and they draw you basic. $25 per person for your face and your name and $35 for your face and your body. I guess they put you in some sort of like animated character. For example, this girl is the Little Mermaid and you can also buy frames for it and art protectors. Um, and they are open from 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. Coming outside, you greet it with a big star, and this is where the main buildings of the hotel rooms are, and you are greeted with the big pool. So let's go down here real quick. First thing you see is a uh, checkers board. Um, obviously, it's like one of those big ones that families can play. But right behind it, you do have a recreation board. It gives you more about what they're doing this week. For example, uh, what movies they're playing. Um, so Sunday they're playing Big Hero 6, Tuesday Lilo and Stitch, Thursday, which was last night, uh, they did Star Wars The Force Awakens, Saturday uh, they're going to do Raya and The Last Dragon, they do Calypso Campfires, where I believe they do have sh uh, some shmores you can get, I'm guessing they have like some dance stuff, um, and they even do some like stuff at near the pool, some like trivia and some other fun activities. This, these are for the days where if you don't want to go to the theme park, you can still have some fun stuff you can do at the hotel as a family. Also, you are once you come outside from the uh, food court area, you are greeted with the directory that tells you all about the buildings around here. And um, obviously each building has a different name. The main buildings are Calypso, Jazz Inn, Rockin', Rockin' Again, County Fair, County Fair, Broadway Hotel, Broadway Hotel, Jazz Inn, and Calypso. Um, I was staying at Calypso, uh, this one right here, which is that building right over there. And this is what the whole hotel looks like. They also offer a piano pool, uh, a guest laundry, restrooms, playground, Calypso pool, uh, more restrooms, Walt Disney World transportation, which I showed you earlier, automated teller, which is an ATM, check-in, guest services, notable games arcade, which we showed you, the Maestro Mickey's, which is the gift shop, and the food court. Here's some important information about the pool and running trail. Right next to it, they do offer shuffleboard and set of checkers. They have big chests. Also, this building has like this red and white star coloring right here. Um, this is the main lobby where the arcade is in, the main lobby and the food courts in there, which is the green part of it. They also offer sitting tables out here, some sitting chairs, even with some closer to the pool. But right next to these sitting tables is the other side of the Singing Spirits bar. Um, this is for like the if you aren't, don't plan on staying, and just want to come up and order something and then take it to your room or the pool, you can do that. Again, this is only an adult bar. I don't believe they sell virgin stuff, but they might. They also, I believe, do sell this stuff here. Um, Caesar salad with chicken, Greek salad, ham and cheddar sandwich, turkey provolone sandwich, and symphony of snacks. It's a pretzel with cheese or assorted chips. I'm not sure if this is sold inside or sold here, to be honest with you. But here are some of the drinks they do sell. This is one of their specialty drink. I correct myself, they actually do sell uh, non-alcoholic stuff. That blueberry lemonade looks delicious. Or that strawberry margarita, oh my gosh. I don't drink that much, but this is making me want to drink some stuff. This is called the Refreshing Interludes. So coming straight out of the bar, you do have more sitting tables over there. And you, this is the main uh, area with all the buildings. And we're gonna head down this way. Coming down right over here, there's a building located right here and the main entrance to the pool. The pool's currently not open right now but I can show you a little bit from the outside of it. Before that, they do have a sign here with some Happy Mother's Day activities that are going on. Um, this is on Sunday, May 14th. I'm sure they do this for all holidays, including Christmas, Thanksgiving, Halloween. They'll do some special uh, holiday activities and they'll probably uh, have a new sign here. Currently, it's the, the, the holiday they're celebrating is Mother's Day, so they're gonna have some Mother's Day themed stuff. Here is the main pool. As you can see, you can see the three caballeros. It's always hard for me to say the three caballeros, um, but they're the centerpiece of this pool. This is the guitar pool. They also have cornhole right here um, for people to play. Um, obviously, they have the sit sitting areas over there. They have the lifeguard stands. They have life jackets for kids, and they do have a big version of Connect Four. Also, you have pool towel issue, which you can use those towels free at cost, and then once you're done, you can put them there. Um, so yeah, this is if you don't have any, if you didn't bring any beach towels to the pool, they have some for you. Over here, they do have restrooms and they do have an emergency call station. 
you need to make a call or if you need a defibrillator wow i cannot speak today um then you can this is kind of where you go this is also the area where they do have the laundry i'm gonna walk in here so this is the main laundry area obviously you have your dryers the washing machines and they do have any machines full of like snacks and any laundry supplies you might need and some drinks if you want some but yeah this is the main laundry room so each of these buildings have like a big instrument on the outside of them these are macarenas and um this is the calypso building this was part of the building i'm staying in my building is right there but as you can see it is called calypso this is calypso one i believe this whole building is one all together and then calypso two is right over there so this hotel only has three floors um, and I do believe they offer like king bedrooms and uh, two queen rooms. Now I'm not sure what this instrument is called, but this is another instrument as you can tell. Um, has, it's like a big instrument. Because again, this is all star music, so instruments and music are their like theme here. Also, I love how these floor rails have like music notes on them. That's really cool. So this was my room for my stay, 1462. Um, this is a design they have for the rooms, like the little, uh, numbers um the doors are green this is what you use to enter the room you can use a, your hotel room card if you check in like at the front desk or you can use the mobile app you just go here it'll tell you on the main page where you're staying the, the length of your stay you just hit unlock door you kind of hold like straight and it'll make that sound and then boom you're in so i'm currently in the room right now i'm not going to show you what the room looks like right now because this is after i stayed so everything's kind of messy in here but i'm going to insert a clip from my other video where i checked in um obviously i talk about some stuff that's not relevant to this video so just don't mind that but i'm putting that clip in of the hotel room tour right now hey there we go it worked and my luggage was delivered i'm gonna close this i don't like the idea of people looking in my room i turn the lights pretty simple it's just a one king bedroom room I thought I was gonna be getting one of like the double ones, but a king bed is perfect for me. And look, I've always wanted to see this. The uh, the Mickey shaped towels. I love that so much. You got Joffrey's coffee with your coffee uh, machine, which I actually might try to make some. See how that tastes? I put ice in my coffee though. Very tiny room, but like, I think it's gonna have everything I need in it. Let's check out the bathroom. The bathroom is one of my most important things. Let me turn on these lights first. And look what they have. It's a mural picture. I love that, love it so much. Then you come over here, you have the bathroom, it's a little dark in here. Hi. Um, but you have your closet, your ironing board, sink, big shebang, the actual bathroom. So pretty standard bathroom, you know, toilet, shower, but you have a sliding door, you know, I love sliding doors compared to curtains. You have the H2O uh, shampoo, conditioner, and body wash, can't wait to use that. And you have the shower head that can be technically turned into a, uh, well, I guess it is technically a rainfall shower, I guess. I can't wait to shower in here. This looks awesome. So, pretty simple, pretty basic, but I am going to enjoy my three nights here. There's also a lot of these outlets and cords, or outlets and USB ports that you can connect a lot of stuff. So I have stuff over there, I have stuff over there, and I have stuff here. Yeah, this is actually really cool that they have so many of these to like have and use. You have three drawers, but one silver. Is there anything different about it? No, it's just a silver drawer. <laughs> Interesting. They also have a lot of storage space underneath the beds for like suitcases like mine's right there. And you can put it under your bed so that it doesn't bother you during your trip. And this hotel room comes with a pamphlet that tells you about all the stuff happening at the parks. They break down each park and what's being offered. Any specials are probably in here. Like for example, Magic Kingdom what's going on there, um, and, and Typhoon Lagoon, Blizzard Beach, Disney Springs, so this gives you a bunch of stuff of what's going on up around the parks. It also says this right here, welcome to Walt Disney World Resort, and thank you for choosing to stay at, the, at a Disney Resort hotel. During your stay, you, shall receive, you will receive full housekeeping services every other day. Should you need any additional an amenities or trash removal, please contact housekeeping. Thank you and enjoy your stay. All right, so that was the room. Overall, this is a really good room. It's very simple. Um, like I said, I love the artwork of Minnie, Mickey, and Donald above. I love the king size bed. The bed is really, really comfortable. It's amazing. I really do like the bathroom. It's very simple, but I like the screen door. I like the kind of like the rainfall shower type. It was really nice. The sad part about this hotel is that they don't have balconies. The only um, view you get is like the view from your like actual room. 
it kind of just points out to what you're whatever you're looking at so no views but i did keep this for the length of my stay this has not been moved this was i mean it's been moved a little bit because i had to move some stuff around but overall this has stayed together this is my mickey ears i think every hotel comes with this some, some towel that they wrapped up to look like mickey i love that it's awesome it's just a cute little addition they do and it just like has that disney magic on it all right coming outside of the room we are going to head over here to show you some other parts of the hotel and some other buildings so coming to the other side of the calypso building i didn't realize they had this this is like a big drum that they have and they have the same thing over there on the other side um, but it's really cool that they have drums on here another instrument for the theme of the building so coming across in the calypso building turn right here and you are greeted with the jazz inn this is obviously themed to jazz with saxophones trumpets and stuff like that as you come down here they do have um, some more instruments for example a big drum that's really cool it's probably the best one i've seen so far and right across uh the uh jazz in they offer this little nice fountain and sitting area very quiet over here so once you get to the end of the main like uh, area you are greeted with the piano pool which has a fun little ariel and sebastian and uh flounder all right coming right over here we are near the rock building like the rock and roll building you got some speakers you got some guitars i think this is like rock and roll themed to like uh elvis and like the 50s and 60s and stuff Yep, definitely. I got an old timey like 50s, 60s car right here. And when I reserved this hotel, this like little stanchion was like the main picture I saw. Really has that like 50s, 60s rock and roll look. I really like that. Okay, so I came down to the end of the uh, rock and roll building. As you can see across this parking lot, that's All Star Sports. I believe we do share a parking lot with this hotel because it's right there. Now, I'm not sure what's down over there. Is that Celebrity Hall? I'm not really sure what that is, but it doesn't even look like we can go over there even if I wanted to find out. Kind of looks like that's kind of like another food area, possibly, but I have no idea. So if you know in the comments, please let me know. So while my uh, room had a pool view, some of these rooms have like a kind of like a garden view type room where you see trees and grass and stuff. Some rooms may just have a view of a parking lot. However, I think the room selection, unless you select a preferred room or a room with a view, um, it's just completely random, uh, but maybe you can request. I would definitely contact Disney and see if you can make any requests that they could accommodate. Obviously, during busier times, they probably don't offer that many accommodations because rooms are booking, especially during like Christmas or Halloween or New Year's, or any of the holidays where a lot of people happen to be off and are coming to visit Walt Disney World. So coming out of the rock section, we're going to head back here to the uh, country fair section. So here's the other side of the piano pool, um, and there's Ariel right there. She's playing a guitar. Interesting, she probably got that from the uh, above world of the human world. Um, but yeah, this is one of their main pool areas right here. This is very, it's a smaller pool than the one that uh, is the guitar shaped one, but this is the piano uh, pool. And, and those are the two pools they have, the guitar one and the piano one. But coming down over here, we are entering the country fair section. As opposed from guitars and drums and saxophones, they have violins and banjos. You know, that's that, so standard country instruments. You also have this really, really nice picnic area that's shaded from these trees. This is probably a really good area you can eat if you just want to get away from the crowds. As you can see, there's nobody in here. It's probably really quiet throughout the day. And their big, like, kind of like icon thing is cowboy boots. How fun is that? So I just figured this out. The main lobby is called Melody Hall. I think every area at this hotel has some sort of like name, except guest laundry. But yes, Melody Hall, I believe that is the lobby. Also, if you couldn't have guessed it already, no climbing any of this stuff. Don't be one of those guests. And I understand the appeal of wanting to get on stage and pretend like you're playing the drums, but you're not that big. So just don't try it. Enjoy it from afar. It's really cool. Just don't get on that stage. They even offer ping pong and pool, so that's really cool. I think you have to get all the like equipment, like the balls from... Oh, they offer them here. They only have one paddle, or the two. That's two paddles, nice. I'm assuming the pink the pool balls are inside of the holes, probably. Yep. So, all stuff is available for you if you want to play some outdoor ping pong or pool. Alright y'all, so that concludes our hotel tour of All Star Music 
what a fun hotel to stay at. I love the theming, the music, everyone loves music. Such a fun theme to have at a hotel. Highly recommend staying here. This is one of Disney's value resorts. For example, Disney does offer kind of tiers of hotels. This is one of their value, aka this is one of their cheaper hotels. Those consist of like all-star sports, all-star movies, all-star music. Um, when you go up a level, I believe that's like Disney's Art of Animation, Disney's Pop Century. Above that is stuff like um, Coronado Springs, um, uh, French Quarter, uh, Port Orleans, Riverside. Um, and then above, I think the, the, the premier hotels like the Grand Floridian, the Polynesian, the Contemporary, the Riviera. Those are like the top tier hotels. There are a lot of hotels on Disney property. Some are owned by Disney, some partner with Disney. However, since you're on Disney property, you are very close to the parks. With that being said, um, the closest to like Magic Kingdom, obviously the Contemporary, Polynesian, and Grand Floridian. Uh, stuff like Epcot, you have, I believe, um, French Quarter, um, Port Orleans. I believe those are the closest ones. Caribbean Beach, I also believe is close. Um, Yacht and Beach Club is also close to Epcot. Hollywood Studios, I'm not 100% sure what hotels are near there. Um, and then Animal Kingdom, you have stuff like the Animal Kingdom Lodge, the Wilderness Lodge, I believe those are closer to Animal Kingdom. So there's a lot of hotels on property and some of them are very close to your favorite theme parks. Please know though, if you don't have a car down here, you can either take the buses to the parks or you can pay for an Uber and they have an Uber area pick up and drop off at each hotel. However, if you're trying to save money, you can always uh, use the Disney buses, those are free. However, that does take about like 10 to 15 minutes once you're on the bus to get to the actual parks. Um, and a lot of times, especially at the end of the night, they are very crowded because a lot of people are going back to the hotels because a lot of people do like what everyone else does and there's a park open to close. So just know that you kind of want to plan these out and if you don't want to be in a crowded bus full of a lot of people, probably don't stay till close or don't rely on the buses. Um, if you have a car down here, I would recommend that. However, the good thing about the buses is you don't have to walk very far if you like park really far behind in the parking lot. You won't have to walk very far to get to your bus. Um, and again, it's free, so you're not wasting gas, you're not paying someone to take you anywhere. It's, it's a complimentary with the hotel. Um, also, hotels do offer free parking, so if you are bringing a car here, you do not have to pay an extra fee for parking. I think they just want to know what car you have by your license plate number so they can make sure that's not someone who's just trying to steal parking from other guests who are, like, are just coming to Disney and don't want to pay for parking at the parks. So just, um, I, I didn't have a car this trip, so I don't really know the 100% process behind that. However, um, I did rely on the buses, and I can tell you for certainty, um, there are some pros and cons to the buses. Um, if you are like trying to have more time, uh, I'd recommend probably getting to the buses as soon as they start like taking people to the parks. So you don't have to either ride with a lot of people or you can save the most time at the parks. And again, Disney hotels do have a early park entry. It's like 30 minutes for park open. You can walk in and do a couple of your favorite rides before the everyone else is let in so um yeah thank you guys so much for watching this was a fun video i love doing these hotel tours it's one of my favorite videos to do i love hotels i love how different each and every single one of them are i want to stay at more disney hotels and i probably will my goal is to stay at like the grand floridian that's like my top tier hotel one day um but i also want to say stuff like the riviera the contemporary um, even stuff like art of animation pop century uh, Wilderness Lodge, Animal Kingdom Lodge, um, Polynesia. I want to say like all these hotels. I love doing hotel tours. So Disney, if you're watching, please invite me to more hotels. I would love to promote your stuff for you. I absolutely love hotels. I love Disney. I love Universal. I love their hotels as well. I just love, especially, I love the Orlando theme parks. I love how they have their own hotels. And I love how they offer this to guests with a lot of cool benefits that other hotels do not offer. Like I said, the main benefits of a Disney World hotel is you're on property and you get a lot of benefits. For example, the buses, the early park animation, stuff like that. And the deluxe uh, hotels like the Contemporary, uh, the Grand Floridian, the Polynesian, and some of their higher tier hotels also include uh, extended evening hours on certain days. Like I know on Wednesday, if you were staying at a deluxe hotel, you could have been to the uh, at Magic Kingdom until like midnight, even when the park closed at 10. And of course, between 10 and 12, 
there aren't that many people in the park. So you can take that time and ride so many rides, enjoy some of your favorite stuff at Magic Kingdom with not a lot of people there. So that's another benefit of staying at a Disney hotel. I highly recommend it. This was a fun stay for me. This bed, like I said, was absolutely amazing. I slept like an absolute thank you, Disney, for having me. They didn't provide this for me, I paid for it, but again, thank you for the wonderful house uh, keepers who came into my room and cleaned it when I wasn't here. Absolutely grateful for each and every one of the cast members who were working here. Everyone was stunning, everyone was super nice, and I greatly appreciate my stay here at All Star Music. So if you like the video, go ahead and smash the like button. If you like this hotel and you have questions, leave them in the comments, I'll try to answer as much as I can. Like I said, this is a very fun hotel. Highly recommend staying here, especially if you're trying to save some money because this is a pretty good price um, for uh, this kind of hotel, especially where it's located and the theming behind it. So, highly recommend it. But overall, All Star Music gets a thumbs up for me. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I love making these videos. If you have subscribed to the channel, subscribe. We're going to make many more videos than at other hotels around the Orlando area. I should be back in Orlando soon. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye. You got your style.